It's Sunday. It's time to leave the Blues house. I am my favourite town sweater. I pack everything I need, the cloth for the banner, the ribbons, the diffuser, and a box of... <laughs> of course, of course. I forgot about that too, because, um, what was it? Yuri's mother said, just buy condom just in case. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I've literally been listening to this piano for like 10 minutes before I start recording. <laughs> it just sounds so smooth and I fucking love it. Feels like you want to go back to some old memories. But um, <laughs> nevertheless, we're back for part 3 of Doki Doki Storm. Last episode we went through um, some certain scenes related to Yuri's POV. And now we're going to be hanging out with Natsuki weirdly enough. And also obviously the... the um, Stuff with um, MC. So I'm honestly very excited for what's gonna happen. Like I said, bit tired again. I do apologize, Tom. Uh, Tom Hughes, but two things. One, I am autistic, so I am. I do have problems when it comes to like sounding fine, but trust me, I am. I am 100%. Um, I may have told you that already in your TLC playthrough. <laughs> um, and second, it is like late at night. So, again, I apologize, but I have my cup of tea with me. Quite fitting, because you're drinks tea, so I gotta drink the tea as well. Cheers, my dear. Oh, hit the shit right there. Anyways, we're gonna continue. We're gonna save. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I sound like, what's the word, tired all the time. I'm really not, and just so you know, I'm a very tired guy, and if I sound like I'm losing interest, I'm not. <laughs> so, please, don't worry. Alright. Bye for ado, lads. Let's get back into it. It's Saturday. As uncommon as it is for me to go out on a non-school day, I already know what to wear. I put on my second favourite tan sweater. It keeps my arms from view, while also I'm hiding my figure nicely. Oh, her fucking turtleneck. I still feel nervous when I lunch meet with Natsuki. Normally, I would spend the weekend at home, reading books. I tend to bring the book with me, but it doesn't make me feel much better. I glanced at my knife collection. I know I would feel more secure if I had one with me. But I'm determined to get over my depends on them. Yeah, I was gonna say. I managed to do it yesterday, and with severe racking as I encountered Natsuki it is, I'm sure I could do it again. I suppressed the urge to apologize to my knives again as I pick up my bag and head out. What a mall! Oh, whoop, I actually clicked. Look at that mall though. Also, I skipped the last line, I'll check it out. I was like, look at this mall. That's wicked. A mystery. Um, as I arrive at the mall, my nervousness returns to a kind of excitement. Here I am on the adventure, setting out for the world. <laughs> at the back of my mind, I know that is something that normal people do every day. But for now, I try to hold to the enjoyment of the accomplishment of doing something I used to think of as impossible. Yep. <laughs> Touche, Yuri. <laughs> Having a social life. Touche, Yuri. <sighs> Before long, I find that's the key where we agree to me. Alright. This better go fucking well. Hey, Yuri! This is my first time seeing Natsuki out of uniform. The only way I can think of is to describe her outfit is don't say it. Yeah, don't. Just don't. See you nervous too. I wonder what that would be. It's nice to see you, Natsuki. Yeah, you too. I gotta ask, what's with the turtleneck? I mean, it's a little warm for that. I happen to prone feeling cold. That much is true, especially in the last few days. It's what's comfortable for me. Well, see yourself. Personally, when I get home from school, I can't wait to get out of our uniform and something with short sleeves. Well, it's true um, that our uniform could be comfortable at times. Don't come on our outfit. Don't come on our outfit. Change the subject. Yeah. I know she doesn't have a bag with her. Where is your lunch? Huh? I was gonna. Oh, sorry. Huh? I was gonna order before we got here. Order? Uh, yeah. From the restaurants? I figured you'd pick one you get from here. Oh, of course. I feel foolish. I think I may have made no social blender. Oh. It's more cost effective this way. Eating at restaurants can be very expensive. Well, back to the tip, Yuri. But I'm pretty weird bringing you old meals at a restaurant. Didn't mean to be weird. I just thought. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just 
I'll get a take order once my place sit. You sure that's okay? It's fine, Yuri. Just relax. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, because they're so, like, conflicting. Um, except for this time, the person before is younger and shorter than me. Once Natsuki, is in a, when Natsuki has a meal, we find a bench out on the wall to sit and start eating. We eat in silence for a few minutes and then... So, do you feel ready for the festival? Ready enough, I suppose. I don't know if I can ever claim to fully ready to perform. But other than that, everything is... Copacetic? Copacetic. <laughs> you know what time it is, chat. Give me a minute. Give me a well swinging minute. You know what time it is, chat. I think it's last time and I'm gonna do it again. Oops, let me see that. It's not recognizing my fucking window. Now I've got two Doki Doki stores. I don't want that. Let me find my stuff full screen. There we go. Alright, let's figure this out, chap. Let's see what it's actually pronounced as. Copa Cetric? Is that what the word was? Copacetic. How is it pronounced then? Copacetic. Okay, I was right. <laughs> I was right. I am pog I am poggers. Alright. Anyways. Moving on with the subject. But other than that, everything is copacetic. Copa. Huh. That would it be nice. But seriously, do you just a dictionary or something? Pardon me? What's the fancy language? Everything's organized. Hey, why can't you just say that? That's what the word means. Yeah, don't start an argument. Nice word, this all. It feels like you're showing up. It feels like you're, you're, like you're looking down on me. Aw. Yeah, don't get agitated. You sure not saying that? Do you keep using words like that anyway? Oh, not the key, please. Look, maybe, maybe we're reacting. I just don't you think it's weird. I don't mean to make you feel insecure. I hate to make people make me, make me feel insecure and well. You say you want to be friends, right? So we should say it's time to get to know each other better. Whatever you have to say, I won't judge you for it. I mean it. I weigh my options. It feels like I have more or less equal chance of her getting angry when I was her or not. Well, in answer to your question, no, I didn't swallow a dictionary. That wasn't! Keep going. When I was growing up, I kept a dictionary to my bed. Anytime I was reading that story, where I didn't recognize, I would immediately look it up. I learned a lot of new words that way. I guess you like bedtime reading, huh? It's the best time. It took a long time for me to realize that was all unusual thing for someone to do. But I happen to think that the language is very beautiful. There's so much meaning encapsulated in each word, I just wanted to learn it all. <sighs> Sorry, the word encapsulated means. It's fine, I get it. And it's cool, really. I'm finding like you're not enjoying. It's just that. So like you think you bet you're better than everyone else. I don't mean to, I really don't. I'm not better than everyone else, for far from it. Yeah, Yuri's definitely not that type. She's not trying to show off at all. <laughs> just because she knows fancy words means she wants to show off. Every word is unique and carries its own meanings and feelings associated with it. Well, thanks for your consideration. But I gotta tell you, I do want to read those fancy fantasy novels you love so much. It was about a bunch of guys who were on a quest to destroy a magical ring. To keep away from some dark wizard who wanted... Why is that familiar? I never figured out what his deal was. Anyway, the book was famous. Like, it was a movie... Oh, Lord of the Rings? Is Lord of the Rings? I think it was Lord of the Rings. It's supposed to be this epic thing that turns out the fantasy stories based on. Well, you know what? The book is boring as hell. I, it has to know all the rings, right? Surely. I have to force myself to get through it the whole time reading and get to the freaking points. I mean, yeah. What's the point if you always to sleep for them? Like, the writing of my manga is pretty simple, but at least stuff happens, and I still manage to have meaning from it. Well, could you perhaps agree as a merit in both styles of writing? Yeah, I guess. For the record, I feel like I've learned a lot from it this past week. Yeah? Yes. I like to think you learned a lot from me too, considering how your last book came out. Well, you know, he was good practice, so I didn't mind doing it. And hopefully we can continue to know each other. If I'm gonna guess she was on about Lord of the Rings, 
If I was to come, if I was to like, you know, what's the word? Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Prove you wrong, feel absolutely free, I do not watch fantasy, so I'm sorry if I offended you. <laughs> so how about you? Huh? Do you feel ready for the festival? Oh well, yeah, I'll be ready. I would have liked some company while making the cupcakes, but I'll get it done. I'd have to hope I can devote my dad while I'm doing it, or at least does not make himself annoying. My parents make themselves very easy to avoid. Must be nice. Not really. Yeah, sometimes if the dad would just shut up. It's so amusing to discover that apparently our parents are opposite of each other too. Perhaps to trade parents at the time. Just my reaction that may have been the wrong moment for legacy. That was a joke. I was just joking. You don't want my dad's dad. Oh, why not? Never mind. Anyway, I guess you and Blue are all Copa whatever with the decorations. Copa Senec. Well, we have everything planned out. Me and Samara put it all together. Yeah. Ooh. You and Blue have gone pretty close, huh? Well, we are friends. I bet you wish you were more than friends, though. She glances at me as she says this. I'm not taken back by how forward a question is. I, uh... It's okay. Do I have to answer? It's pretty obvious. I mean, you know, you, I know you said you probably want Sayori, but if you ask me, he already blew with her yesterday. You probably have a pretty good chance of them. This caused a strange fluttering rose inside me. Uh, yeah. I've gone through so many ups and downs this day in Wine Bar Blue, I don't know about much more I can say. But it must be a glut for punishment because they feel a resurgence of hope of the idea of getting a chance to be with them. You think so? I've seen how you look at each other. Just because things didn't go how I hope doesn't mean I'm gonna stand in your way. Of course, she told me the other day about wanting to share her manga with Blue, and I feel guilty about how sad she looked right now. You were. You were to get close to him too, weren't you? Well, no, I mean, sure, I was disappointed about how things went, but I had some thinking and. Even if I didn't get everything I wanted, maybe it's just so bad. Because I ended up getting something almost as good. Like. Like a new friend. Aww. That's pretty. Natsuki, I didn't know you felt strongly about me. Don't say it like that! I just, you know, you always seem so full of yourself. You never talk to me like you thought it was good enough to talk something. And anytime you didn't open your mouth, I was show off how fancy and sophisticated you are. I just, I never thought you might want to be friends. Oh, that's, that's a stab. It's strange to hear about myself from a different perspective. How I can be made like Sam the Lou from the Millie Shy. I'm gonna welcome. Please understand it when anything personal. I keep it to myself a lot because, well, I'm used to people just like in my company. If it seemed like I was avoiding you, it's because, forgiving me, forgive me for saying so, but you do a bit of a temper. And you seem like the kind of person that would react badly to me. Yeah, I know. That's something I'm working on. I know I have some anger issues. I suppose that um, everyone has something about themselves they want to improve. Speaking for myself, I'm trying to be all up to my experiences and reach out to new people. Yeah, I can see that. Well, um,. I'm glad you reached out to me. Me too. Aw, that's fucking pretty. Yeah. You know, I had a feeling it might be less of time than I thought. Especially after the ones who randomly offered wine the club. Oh, the wine. Yeah, I forgot about that. The fucking wine. <laughs> Yuri. Yuri. This is why Yuri's big, lads. Even though it was kind of a weird thing to do. She could wait again. It makes me anxious. It makes me feel like this is wrong. She said it as a joke. I just didn't know alcohol wasn't allowed in school. My parents always have a glass of wine for dinner. I thought it would be a normal thing. Do I have to apologize? I didn't have a problem with anything. I just thought it was kind of funny you didn't bought a bottle of wine to the club. Who knew this? So you already can get angry. I just wanted to be friendly. I didn't know it would be weird. It's no big deal. Hell, I may have asked, uh, I may have asked you for some more. I could have gone presidency on you. But I really didn't mean to be weird. I don't want to be... I know it's wrong. Jeez, Yuri, why are you so hung up on being called weird anyway? I thought they used to be by now. It stings to hear her say that. She really doesn't understand how it makes me feel. It's not just that. There was an incident. An incident? Oh, fuck. I didn't be able to keep comments on that, but somehow it feels right to bring it up this moment. You're right, people call me weird a lot. I suppose I've got a bit of reputation for it. I think I drew a lot of attention myself. I was at school, reading as usual, and a group of boys came to me. I didn't know them, I think they were older than me. I will explain why they were taller than me. Taller than you? That must have been huge! Well, this was several years ago. I was sure all the time. In retrospect, I should have been more scared when they surrounded me, but I was naive. I thought they wanted to talk to me. Oh, abuse. Abuse story? This might be an abuse story chat, FYI. 
I remember being really eager to talk with the book I was reading, and I suppose I want to show off my knowledge when I learned. Check out the know-it-all, as one of them said. The others laughed. I didn't want them to know I didn't got a joke. I realized it's meant to be pejorative. P come on, I know a fancy language. I mean, I didn't realize it's an insult. Anyway, I think at one point I said too much, or maybe I said the wrong thing, because there was definite change in their demeanor. I, they looked disgusted, I heard them moaning to each other. I don't know what they were saying, but I heard the word weird being used a lot, and I guess things got heated. The one who called me a know-it-all, he punched me in the face. I remember that much because I remember my tears blood in my mouth. But I don't remember much after that. Just being on the floor with my hands on my face while I could see him hitting me. Oh, that's sad. Eventually, I guess the sides have been pu uh, punished enough for the after they left. Did I get caught? Caught? Well, yeah. I mean, they did this in the middle of a school, right? Not exactly. I always chose nice late spots to read. But the teachers didn't do anything? As far as I'm aware, they didn't know about it. Didn't know? You mean you didn't tell them? Aww. Be weird. I should've kept quiet, I should've kept it myself. Aww. Screw that talking to deserving, it sounds like they were a bunch of assholes. Yeah, Natsuki, you've got a actual correct statement. If you ever try something like that again, I hope you hit him back. I can never do that, I never want to hurt someone. Well, then point them out on me, and I'll beat them up for you. I don't condone violence. Then what's with the knife? Oh shit! She knows about the knives. Oh fuck. What's she talking about? Is there a knife? Yeah, that one. I know you keep a knife in there, Yuri. Oh shit. Well, it's kind of obvious. Every day in the club, you obsessively check your bag for like a hundred times. I mean, not that I was staring you or anything, but I did get a look at once. It's not. Did you tell anyone? No, I'm not trying to get you in trouble or anything. What's up with the others? I wonder which one she saw. Honestly, I don't really care. I just figured you were trying to be cool edge or something. Or maybe you were... Well, never mind. My point is I think I understand now. It's just for security. That is half true, yeah. If you say so. I would never hurt anyone. Yeah, except yourself, you are sad. It's fine, Yuri. I believe you. Please don't tell anyone. It's okay, Yuri. I'm not gonna blab about your secrets. We've all got stuff we don't want anyone to find out about, right? Yuri, you don't deserve what those guys did to you. Let me tell you something about deserving. I get it. I understand why you feel as if you hurt. But it was my dad. About the abuse. My dad sometimes. Natsuki? It's okay, it's okay. I don't want to make a big deal out of anything. He only does it when I'm bad or whatever. But sometimes he has dumb ideas about what's bad. And like for a long time, I thought I deserved it. Especially because he would tell me I deserved it, like a lot. He likes to think of himself as handyman. Like as a collection of tools he used to tinker with stuff around the house. One day he was fixing something, I don't even remember what it was. And he asked me to bring him a screwdriver. And he said it was in the drawer. But there's lots of drawers, I don't know where it was. And instead of just telling me like a normal person, he got angry. And it wasn't that the stem show where it was. Oh no, I had to grab him with the wrist and point me over to where he put it. That's where it is. Yeah. Then I thought about later, I just felt angry. Like, how the hell am I supposed to know where he puts his damn tools? How much do you have to be to drag on a small girl with a size like that? Like her and others. I go to my dad and I go to the guys attacked you too. The truth is so fucking sense to be heard. That's something that stuck with me throughout years. I'm telling you, you didn't deserve it. Do you believe me? I do find it hard to believe. You shouldn't let people push, push around you like that. I think it would be some you. I think it would do you some good if you know how to get angry more often, like you. Uh, maybe I'm a bad example for that. I know I do the anger thing too much. It's just that you... I mean, I know I've given you a hard time in the past. That's the thing, because Natsuki's super explosive, whilst Yuri's very implosive, and that's why you have to try to find that balance, which is not really easy. But you're a good person, okay? And good people shouldn't get hurt like that. I can't have this conversation right now. 
Oh, no, I think I should be going. I have shopping to do. You going now? Aw. Yeah. Yeah. I better cut myself. There are a lot of ups and downs to the conversation. I mean, you, you got lucky, you didn't tell us what you're cutting. Oh god, I did. Because it encouraged Nasuke to share a bit of her own personal story. Yeah. It's really opening world of self-expression opportunities my thoughts others, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice that someone believes about me. Yeah. The girl blue instead going to the art supply store. There are facts I want to use for. The listing for Jasmine essential oil catches my eye because it says associated with poetry. And oh, for fuck's sake! I don't know what that says. Afro. A what the fuck is that word? All right, you know what it is again. Let's get this shit up, shall we? Here we go. We're finding this out. Aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac? I don't know. These words are too complicated for my small brain. <laughs> Aphrodisiac properties. I stare at those words for a long moment on my racing. Can Natsuki have been right about me having a chance of blue? My heart pounds to pick up a jasmine on the diffuser for it. Yeah. Before I know this, maybe the opportunity. They dream about everything that will happen tomorrow. I have to make one more stop ahead home. And after a lot of careful thought, I send another message to help send the tone for tomorrow. Appreciate the opportunity to spend quite some close friends. I hope, is he, I hope if he's feeling anything close to what I'm feeling, that he'll pick up on the meaning. I don't want to be more specific than that. Not yet, anyway. And now I have the phone in my hands, it occurs to me that I should send something to Natsuki too. I had a pleasant time of lunch today. Thank you for the conversation. Here's something more. You're a good person too. <laughs> Thanks! Go cat emoji. Good luck tomorrow, thumbs up. Aw, there's a good omen. I have high hopes that tomorrow could bring something wonderful and life changing. I can't wait. Aw, that's, that's one nice. It's Sunday. It's time to leave for Blue's house. I have my favourite tan sweater. I pack up everything I need, the cloth for the banner, the ribbons, the diffuser, and a box of... <laughs> of course, of course. I forgot about that too, because, um, what was it? Yuri's mother said, just buy condom just in case. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I've rearranged the items to make sure the box is covered. I think I would die from embarrassment if you saw it. Yeah, I was gonna say... Cover it first, please. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. It was hard enough buying in the first place. <laughs> that's, that's fucking hilarious, I don't care. The thought crosses my mind to decide which knife to take with me. But I've done so well over the past couple of days that I'd like to continue that progress. However, I just I'm not sure whether I should bring one or not. That's not an especially long time, but I've been feeling a lot better as usual lately. I feel a good about today. Yeah. Hopefully that'll help. Yeah, don't urge. I'm bringing it to help with decorations. The decorations only. Understand? The knives don't respond, of course. Never has to put my bike. Sorry, I can't get over the condom before. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got your paints, got your fucking paint, your paper, blah, blah, blah. Condoms. What? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I quickly find Blue's house to ring the doorbell. My heart is racing. Oh, yeah, this is a Blue comes in after the story. 
Max I get. Has enough time passed once in a row. Pause again. Something's wrong. A bit early, we should be home anyway, right? Am I the right house? What's my two? Should I look in the window, see if he's there? That might be a creepy thing to do. Dun -dun. Oh! Okay, that's nice. I do like the outdoor blue sprite. That's cool. The outdoor MC, I'd say. Not outdoor blue, his name's not blue. I ain't named him blue. And then I see him. He's approaching from the distance down the street. He looks surprised to see me in his face. Stay calm, act normal. If it's gonna be okay now. Yuri? Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous and nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more of my home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Fuck it out. I need to compose. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Anyways. Anyway, <laughs> funny enough. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. I totally focus on the mundane to how I sell, I feel. Yeah, pretty much. At least I have got everything right. I always have to keep him away from home. I can't seem to find my voice to ask him. I'm still trying to calm myself back down. I let him leave me to his room. The fact that he took me to his bedroom makes me wonder all over again about his feelings and tensions. <laughs> oh, I can't take this fucking seriously. I honestly can't. This is fucking a there. Oh. <laughs> Could be thinking of encouraging intimacy. Fuck off. I just fuck off, alright? It makes me to call myself Yuri. Don't get too excited. I can't look around in curiosity as he has a principal collection of books as bookcase. <sighs> God, I'm fucking tearing up. It's so clean. I was not have the chance to help him out after all. Maybe I could at least look at cooking later. Laughter. I couldn't before he came over, so that's what I said you to do. Yeah, no, it'd be very embarrassing. Well, I enjoy cleaning. I don't know if I can clean. That'd be more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. Red. That was the manga. It's fine, it's fine. So, um, should we get started? <laughs> oh, fuck it up. <clears throat> They have help with decoration of atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements, you know, moonlighting after every candles. Wow. Of course, I want to tell you how to guess. Although, blah, blah, blah. If the cup gives a guess and turn blah, 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 it's great. Easy to forget, this is the same. Intense, not at all. Here in the house, you breathe more easily. I wasn't aware until this moment how much tightness I was feeling in my chest. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, he's a bit anxious, relax a little, relax. I think that was a good time to begin carrying my plan. So I paused into relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry events. Like what? The sea? The excuser? Yep. I just know I'm lying. <laughs> I plan to cover the windows with black paper, use candles. I think I'll be amazing, don't you? Yeah, I'll be really neat. The wooden thing, though. The wooden thing, to be such oils. How I think of the woman therapy, not me at all. So, good, I can pretend to be an expert. <laughs> I had to recall what the science said that aromatherapy display. Uh, I've asked the question. This is just my essential oil, it's a flowery. Yeah, it's good to describe it. Blah blah blah. You feel warm, your heart pumps more heavily. Not relaxation at all. Does that sound suitable? But you don't look like this, I'll trust you opinion on anything. Aww. I began pulling out the RCs in my bag, start with the ribbons. What are these for? Well, did you post the origami paper? Yeah, I have it over here. I hope this doesn't sound too weird, but the website has to be too weird. To fold the origami? What's like to write different one each paper? We need a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What that piece for? Got a cut piece of ribbons hanging in the doorway. Then we can fasten paper to ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Would that be beautiful? At this point, I'm sure the dashing was affecting me. I feel heat rising from my face when I look at blue. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah, don't make an advance just yet, Yuri. Please. I mean, get lewd all you fucking like, but probably not good for my YouTube channel. Here's a marker, blah blah blah. As Bruce was writing words in the paper, I start unraveling the ribbons from them, and now comes the moment that gives you the interpretation. Yeah, the knife. The knife. Oh shit. Huh? That's not a really pocket knife. Looks pretty fancy. Um, uh, I have to grab the handle of the knife. I don't want to be made to wait on the wall that. You always think it's weird. Blah 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 blah. Just think of another opportunity to share something with myself. Skip, skip, skip. It's the same. 
I'm not gonna say the same dialogue that was in the original uh, DLC, but the stuff was like inside Yuri's head is different, so. I should have said something safer, more normal sounding. I could have said they remind me of the fantasy novels. Almost, yeah, they did something weird this. Laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's the thing I'm nervous you get. But they kind of suit you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Admire it. I feel like I can relax again. In fact, maybe this is the fucking Jasmine, but I'm Thomas King feeling I should share something truly intimate with them. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized. It is. Oh. Um, is that why. Oh shit. <laughs> Is that why Yuri wants to like lick MC's finger when she put when he pricked it? Oh my fuck! Let's have a point towards him, kind of side. It's a human lecture by knife safety. Maybe it's still can. It's like that person. Yeah, why does she do that for a while? Then, but it does it all. I should have warned you. It's not just gonna be sharp and cut for skin and paper. Yeah, here we go. Mr. Tingly doesn't feel all over. The air feels heavy. I might just something. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it, Yuri. Man's twitch. His voice is like a door buzzing in my ears right now. I put it inside your mouth. Oh my fu fu. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> I can't take that seriously. <laughs> to amuse me. I fucking applaud you. This is actually gold. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that got to in. Oh, YouTube, I apologize. <laughs> YouTube, I definitely apologize, but fuck it. This is, this is, this is a mod... This is what you expect. <laughs> That's gonna be doing. How can I do something like that? I'm sorry. And I think Blue does it to her. <laughs> now we're even. <laughs> I'm sure there's a good feeling of a shiro inside. It's probably a little bit like me thought. It's so weird. Yeah. Let's keep bandages. Yeah, it was clock quickly. Oh, fucking hell. That was some kinky shit. <laughs> Put the remain marker again. I guess you'd rather ignore what's happened. Yeah, good idea. Oh my god, just the ribbons, the ribbons, before they cross my finger again. I just tried out by saving memory of all brief contact with loose fluids. Oh. Wake up in the moon. Go wake up my mouth on. <coughs> Stop, Yuri, please. Yuri, I appreciate you getting freaky in the sheets, but not on YouTube. Thank you. I need to roast myself. One, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck you, no. I just realized how weird this actually is when you think of it from Yuri's POV. Because that's blue, you don't really think of it as bad. And then you think of it from Yuri's, oh my god, it's a different story. No, that's a bad thing, mind you. Like, personally, if I was playing this mod not on recording, I wouldn't care. Because it's on recording, I'm like, YouTube, I apologize, don't demoralize me. <laughs> I'm saying like I'm like I'm paid to do YouTube, I'm not. Don't don't take down my video, please. <laughs> oh, thanks. Is this a third year online, really? So what we're doing. Ready to the next task? Let's do it, what do you have in mind? A banner, that's why I have tablets. Hey, 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 hey. And this is where. Ooh. So yeah, Yuri cuts herself whilst, um. Let 
Yeah. Blood red. Oh, shit. I'm waiting for the... Yeah. Oh, he cut himself again. Yeah? Not nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hard to hear anything? So we're getting close to, like, the end of regular DLC, so I'm guessing something's gonna happen. And the fact that Yuri has legit bought condoms, I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, some sort of, like, you know, sex scene that fucking Tom isn't talking about. <clears throat> Yeah. But it's the same on knees, so we're going to the right. But it's hard to concentrate because I'm conscious of the thing that blood runs down my upper arm. Yeah, because you're fucking bleeding, no shit. I forced a smile, I believe Sarah would have been proud of. Oh, that's that. That's harsh. Yep, but I officially do I have mixed feelings about this. On the other hand, the part of a plan to foster relationships between us. I mean. You can't go intimate and have have the fun time if you don't show him your scars. So I'm guessing what's gonna happen is gonna show the scars first and then the intimacy. I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore, man. I feel preoccupied by this age of the blood on my own. Yeah. Yeah. I see where I this since it was a knife. Oh, fucking A. Yuri. <laughs> now you're never gonna wash it off, aren't you? Fuck's sake. Yuri. I can't keep- I can't keep myself- I can't- I can't fucking compose. Basic anatomy. The human anatomy. All the parts of organs work together in harmony. You miss more of blood. Uh, a young could tell Blue about how much I want to carefully explore every inch of his body in excreation detail. Lord Cheese and Rice, fucking help me. Yuri's getting fucking turned on. Fuck. Relax, bitch. Yeah, good. Nothing, it's all the same. Places are rather enjoyable. Dun dun. Yeah, it's fun, blah blah blah. I spent together the last few days. I'm aware that most people seem to prefer to go out and party have fun, but it's never real to me. Yeah. Ah, uh, so, if I feel the same way. I knew you understand. Clunk? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the fucking yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I cannot do like a fucking Yuri Kia. Like, the Kia is always gonna be like high pitched massacre. It's already feeling quite tense. I got the brush. Oh, is that when they bump hands? You hurt. Oh, this is the third CG. Your face, some of your face, blah, blah, blah. You're still in the room. Here. Yep, and the concept of his hand arouses me all over again. Fuck in hell, Yuri, please. For the love of God, 
keep my YouTube channel safe, will you? I promise you. <laughs> I should expect this because it's a dating sim, but like I know. What? These the told me for making me laugh this hard. Your rating is going up so far. Your rating is only going up. It's hot. I mean, yeah, it's definitely hot. If you know what I mean. That's an understatement, yeah. Please don't. Ooh. I'm gonna go barrier. Should I kiss him? Ooh, shit! Wait. Yeah, gender rules are bullshit. Yeah, hold, Yuri, please hold back. I'm going to explode. I'll do it. Oh! 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 Shit. Was that the thing that really just like paper was supposed to screen me home very well? Oh fucking hell. Uh <clears throat> fucking hell. Intimacy, fucking hell. So I'm guessing like soon it's gonna like acknowledge about the cuts and arm and shit. <sighs> I think it came out better than expected. Yeah, me too. You going to add letter right now? Not yet. Needs dry first. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Is he relieved? I heard it all. I was just forced laugh that he uttered. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't kiss him then. <laughs> uh, I need to go. Yeah. I really am. It really isn't. They're gathering my things, but the way I'm at this point is questioning me. Aww. I wish he did have me. I wish I did have him night long. <laughs> oh boy. So, will I do this again? It isn't over. Yeah, you can have your second chance to get freaky in the sheets. Good luck, Yuri. And then Sarah comes in. I have to go, I have to go. Yep, nice seeing you. There's a gallery festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta! I run. I just keep running away, crane my elbow and then look back. Oh, fucking hell. Right, this is gonna be some shit show. I may record part four literally after this, because my god, I'm literally. You can't leave on a, you can't really leave on a sex cliffhanger. Why did I do it? Instead of feeling this burning sexual frustration, it makes me want to break things. And hurl across the room. Oh, <laughs> fucking three a knife. The nails are supposed to be going flying. Wow. You're at his temper tantrum, lads. Prior place to one long time, but I fucking look at the disgust. Cause my addiction to self harm. That comes with me. At the same time, I better pick up the display rack. Tears are already falling in my eyes. Aww. You're very beautiful. I'm going to miss you. I can't do this anymore. I'm really going to miss you. And as I just want to the empty space where the knives used to be. 
I don't know I'll never find an empty hole left behind. I have no idea how long I spent lying here crying. But I eventually come aware of blood soaking through my sleeve of the sweater. Why am I doing this? I'm doing the right thing. Oh, Yuri. Yeah, oh. Yeah, it's never sweater I've ever end. I don't know if I'm able to save this one. My whole upper arm and elbow are covered in blood. I watched you again, bad luck. Fortunately, the cut doesn't look very deep. But it's long as 60 feet bandages to cover it. She was right. I need to get angry. I think it's the only way I'm going to be able to move forward in my life. Head back to my room. I imagine that the women can save my next steps. Be scariest of all. I need to admit that I have a problem. Yeah, admit it to Blue. Blue will know. Believe me. Blue will know what's up. Don't worry, Yuri. Yeah. Once, once you admit that to Blue, everything will um, be good. Believe me. Give me a blue heart. Or so I hope. It's been good to me. It's been so accepting of my faults so far. It gives me hope that maybe we can share this deeply personal aspect of myself. I'll scare him away permanently. I imagine this is the best case scenario. You'll understand me and love me and accept me for being together forever. Yeah. I've been miserable forever in my life forever after that. It's a big risk, but I do think it'll really pull off, honestly. That's what this is for me, at the point of no return. Now what happens, my old way of life dies, then I move on to the next leg of my journey. With so much riding decision, I would probably be wise to take the time to think about it, but I've come so far just in the past week that I feel like I can't live this wasn't anymore. I spent far too much of my life hiding myself, just living in my head. It's time to start living the real world, to experience all the wonderful, beautiful things that has to offer that everyone takes for granted, and that I have to shut myself off from. And I want to start now, I can't wait. Tomorrow at the festival, I'm going to tell him. The thought terrifies me, but at the same time it excites me. And that's how it goes, I think we will be relieved to finally share my secret. And now I really think about it, even if Blue takes it badly, I may still have other people to turn to. Natsuki, keep my newest friend, she says she understands the thing and deserves pain, she would probably understand my habits. Maybe it's already my depression buddy. Maybe it's my turn to tearfully confide to her. Even Monica can be someone I could turn to, although I'm less certain about how she understands it would be. Maybe things will be so bad, but it's everything to do now, but wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger. So will Yuri be able to tell the truth? You're gonna find out next time, lads. So that has been part three to Doki Doki Storm. Tormuse, I'm fucking loving this mod. I'll be honest, it's not going to be our castle walls. It'll never trap that mod. I apologize, but I'm really fucking loving this mod. Um, so I can't wait to play more of this. And I hope you're, if you're watching my content, I hope you enjoy it. But for now, guys, if you have enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. It always helps to get you guys support the channel. Also, Discord and Twitch. Go join this. Go join the Discord. Get on any other gist. And Twitch, I'm on there more than living. I know it's not a thing, but it's true. If you see me on Twitch stream, if you want to say hello, it's good to see you guys in person. And also, Mike and H, part of the Vorncraft team. Go to you guys and all the love and content appreciation. It's been Blue. And I'll be seeing you in part four. Peace.